Connor Rogers here from the NFL Combine with Ennis Rakestraw, cornerback out of Missouri in this draft class. Man, what a whirlwind it's been for you. Great career at Missouri. Now you're here. How has this event been so far? This event has been surreal. A couple years ago, I didn't know I'd be in this situation, so I'm just embracing it and soaking up everything that I can in this moment because you'll never get this again. Listen, when everybody thinks corner, they think about coverage skills. But when I watched you, what jumped out right away is you love run defense. You love coming up and hitting. How did that become such a big part of your game? Has it always been that way as a player? It's always been that way as a player, but this year in the offseason, in the special teams period, what I did a lot of was take perfect ankles and be better in my tackling. So it translated to the field, and I like the um, progression that it done for me this year and got me to this point. To the actual coverage, another thing, you play inside and outside. Do you, do you have a preference? Do you like playing the slot, or you're just kind of, hey, whatever they need from me, I'm going to go do? Whatever they need from me is that's what I'm going to do. I'm a team person first, and I'm always going to be accountable. So if the coaches trust me in a certain position, I'm going to do it. Is one harder than the other for you? So Some guys, it can go either way. Some guys are like, I like having the sideline. Some guys like being in the slot. I would say the most challenging is probably the slot because it's more field. Right. But in the NFL, the hashes are small. It always looks like the field. Even the boundary looks like the right. field. So I think that's going to help me out. So I always, when I talk to guys, I think of their practice environment. And with you, Chris Abrams Strain, really nice player. You obviously get to be teammate with. And then you get to cover and practice a guy like Luther Burden. What was the Missouri practice environment like, especially with the receivers in the corners? Um, it was intense every single day. Um, our coach versus their coach first, that they'll start before practice, going to the opposite side in the stretch lines, talking about we're going to do this to you today, do that to you. <laughs> so they are already premeditating the, the fire that's going to happen. Right. We got guys like Theo East, who's a great jump bar receiver, like you mentioned, Luther. We got guys of their caliber. So me and KD News going to have our hands full every time we win versus each other. But at the end of the day, um, iron sharpers iron. So that's what we did, and that's it showed in the film. You don't strike me as a trash talker, but is it in your game on the field? I love the trash talk. Okay, trash talk is my I'm number wrong. one thing. Um, here, you know, I'm in a good environment, chill environment, but I'm a completely different football player, so don't get to smile. Don't uh, let the foul fool you. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It fools you real quick. Because I said on the field, the way you come up and tackle, it's pretty clear you play with fire. Any NFL wide receiver that you would love to go out there and cover? All of them, but my favorite receiver growing up and my favorite player was Odell Beckham Jr. So okay. I love okay. to get that matchup. He's a special one. Yes, sir. How about an NFL corner that you've enjoyed watching? Denzel Ward and Jair Alexander, that's who are the two people I model my game after. Jair, um, Coach Wilkes coached him, and he always put, compared me to Jair in size and the way we like to tackle and a lot of scrimmage his feet. And Jair Alexander is straight man-to-man, -man and he can get his hands on receivers. So I like those two. I see that one. And listen, Jair knows how to talk the talk, too. Yeah, I, I watched. Oh, it's awesome, man. It really is. All right, so last one. What, what do you do away from football when you finally get a little break from all of this just for fun? Um, I watch movies and I play the game. I stay out the way. I stay in the house because there's a lot of crazy things that happen in the world. Like, sorry yeah. for the people that just lost their life. Um, walk into a Drake concert, mom and daughter, and somebody did a foolish decision and hit them. So that's why I stay away because you never know if you're in the right place at the right time or anything. The world is too crazy these days. There's a lot of guns and a lot of people being drunk drivers. So I just minimize that and save my mama the scare. A chill guy off the field, an intense guy on the field, an awesome player, Ennis Rakestraw, junior man. Best of luck. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Yo, yo, homies, what's up? I know it's the offseason, but it's never the offseason on Chris Sims Unbutton. Me and Ahmed Farid are going to be here for it all. You know we got free agency. We're going to break it all down. The draft, the rankings of positions, of course, we're going to unpack it all. Hit subscribe, get to my free agency reactions, 2024 draft rankings, and more. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.